Well, I'm already back with the amendment on my last video because I showed you guys uh, what this HDR and super resolution did, but I also showed you guys the percentage and was at like 40%. And that can be kind of bonkers and that can really throw people who are used to like a 50 watt um, usage on their card when they're just doing something like this. Well, I'm happy to tell you that is the case. The only reason it was so high is because I'm also running OBS, uh, recording this at a, at a very high quality. And I'm also using NVIDIA Broadcast, which makes my camera have this nice cutout around it that you see, and it keeps with it, and it's really, really, really well done, as well as cleaning up my mic as, my mic as well. Um, but I was watching this Twitch stream of my friend AJ Plays here on an RP server of Red Dead Redemption 2, and if you know anything about Twitch, you know that they have a 6,000 kilobyte per second uh, limit on the bandwidth, and that often makes streams like muddy and gross and blah. But with super resolution and the auto HDR or the AI HDR that NVIDIA has been working on at the moment, this looks phenomenal. This looks really, really good. This does not look like Twitch. This looks like a really high quality YouTube stream and he didn't have to do anything on his end. This is all uh, through the NVIDIA uh, control panel. So uh, why don't we show you guys what the uh, high dynamic range looks like with this stream and him being here in nighttime is really helpful for this because it really does show um, some of the details that get lost in the night here. So here it is with the NVIDIA HDR turned off. Um, you can kind of see like the dark shadows in the corner beneath me down here. Things get lit up and you can actually see because of the, the high, dyna high dynamic range. Uh, same thing with some of the stuff in the background there. But yeah, overall, it just, it looks really, really good. Uh, the super resolution is what clears everything up and makes it look so much nicer and gets rid of a lot of the like the gross like grainy distortion and overall things look a little bit softer when you're not using it so like this is what his stream would normally kind of look like and then by turning on those two things it just picks up you know um you can fine tune the super resolution quality if you don't want too much of the sharpness and things like that i leave it on auto per, uh, personally because who wants to go through and change the uh, the quality of the super resolution every time they watch a different kind of video? Um, I think this looks great for something that's super super automatic and native. And like I said, it was only it was only using about 50 watts. Uh, it was only about like 15 to 20 percent of my GPU when I wasn't running OBS and I wasn't running NVIDIA broadcasts. So I just wanted to throw that amendment out there and also let you guys know that these are amazing features with with Twitch. If you are a Twitch uh, viewer, I highly highly recommend. So here it is. If you haven't seen it yet, control panel, super resolution, and high dynamic range. So um, get out there, try it. Let me know if you guys like it. If you have any questions, make sure that your your Chrome is on high, uh, hardware acceleration turned on. Um, that's the only way you're going to see the difference here and see over in the RTX video enhancement that it says active instead of inactive. If it's saying that inactive, it's most likely your Chrome isn't looking at your GPU um, to make these changes. So take care. Hope you guys have a good one and be good to each other. Thank you so much.